Hi everybody and welcome to the Nikon D850 dynamic range test. In this video we're going to look at the dynamic range of, of the D850. We're going to take some shots, three stops, maybe even five stops underexposed and we're going to lift the exposure and we're going to see just how well we can recover the shadows and that's what we're going to do. But in another video which you keep an eye out for that, we'll also do a similar thing against the D750 and the 5D Mark IV. We may even sling the 80D in for a bonus. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next. In this video, we're going to, uh, I did say it in the intro anyway, we're basically, we've took a series of shots underexposed, and you'll see we've got 1600, 3200, 64, 12, 8, and we have used 256,000. Then at the end, I've also got some base ISOs at 6400, underexposed, three stops, four stops, uh, sorry, the first one is underexposed, three stops, then we've got four, then we've got five stops, then we've got ISO 100, we've got three stops, four stops, and five stops underexposed. So basically we'll go back to the first shot, um, we'll bring the... Um, Tabs back and we'll go raise the exposure, three full stops. We'll just shift tab and we'll have a look at that. So if we just have a look at the before and after, oh my God, that's 1600 ISO raised. I'll just go full screen. And that just looks, it's like there's not a, any grain whatsoever. Fantastic. And we'll shift tab to bring everything back. We'll go to the next image now, 3200. And we'll go three, oops, we don't want to do that on the contrast. We need three full stops. Boom. Full screen. Let's take a look. Oh my God, full screen. I said before and after. Before, after, before, after. We've got a little bit of vignette in there. Um, but you can see, let's go full screen. It looks absolutely fantastic. 3200 ISO, oh, that's unreal. Three stops under exposed. We just shift tab and we'll go try 6400. We'll just go full screen first. Obviously, it's really dark. We will now, in fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to sync the full three stops. Where are we? 64? No, I'll just click on it. I was just going to sync the full three stops. We'll just go full screen. And there's 6400. Now you're starting to see some a little bit of grain. If you look at the back, it still looks good enough, but you are seeing a little bit of grain. If we zoom in, you see more. Um, but to be fair, it's 6400, three full stops underexposed. You shouldn't really be doing that. You, this dynamic range is more probably useful at the base ISO, maybe up to 800, 1600. Um, I mean, even 32 looks pretty good, to be honest, but... Um, there's 64, we'll go 12, 8, we'll just have a look at it full screen, but it's dark, so you can't see out, obviously, with three full stops underexposed. We'll now put three full stops on. Don't forget, these are something like 45 megapixels, um, so there's 12,800 recovered. Now you can really see that there's some grain there, but we're going to, we will look at a separate video where I do some IISO images and they're perfectly exposed, and you'll see that 12,800 when it's not underexposed, three stops looks a million dollars better than this. But there you go. I mean, there's your before. I mean, it's like it's like you've near enough just turned lights on. Bit of vignetting, of course. Right, so we'll just go test 12,800. Um, uh, sorry, 25,600. Wow, that's 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 that that would be just unusable. Come on. Yep, that's absolutely pants. But I'll tell you now, it don't, again, when you look at a perfectly exposed ISO, it doesn't look like that. But anyway, so that's the dynamic range there. So we're now going to look at, at the end, we're going to look at base ISOs. So I know that this one is three full stops underexposed. So if I put in three here, um, we'll just take a look. And if we go full screen now, You'll see raising the base ISO up three full stops has no effect on grain whatsoever. So we'll now go try the four stops. Sorry, my laptop is a bit slow. I'm using the MacBook in the office. We'll go four stops. We'll hit enter. We'll go full screen. 
And there you go. Um, I'll edit that bit out. But there you go. Four full stops. Base ISO. Absolutely stunning. I mean, look at it. Let's just go. I mean, look, it's near enough pitch black. So if you are going to use the dynamic range to its full potential on any camera, you really want to be in the light, lower ISO range, under 800, uh, 1600, and you'll get the benefit from it. So we'll just take full screen. We'll just take full screen back off. We'll go shift tab. We'll now go to distance five stops underexposed at the same base ISO. Oh my God, look at this. Let's shift tab. Go before, after. Let's see if we can go full screen without the laptop moaning. There you go. I mean, look at that. Five full stops. It looks like I just took it like that and there's no noise whatsoever. That's absolutely unreal. Well done, Nikon D850. So we'll now just try 100 quickly. I will put three full stops on that. The base ISO on this camera, I believe, is 64. That's why I took it at 64. So that's 100, clean as a whistle. We'll go four full stops here and we'll just go do the next one and we'll put five full stops on this one. So we'll just look at the four full stops. So that's four full stops. I can't see any grain whatsoever. Looks fantastic. And let's go to the daddy. This is five full stops. So let's just go before, after. It won't let me do it in full screen, will it? Yeah, I'll just take shift tab off so we get a slightly bigger screen. Look, five full stops, ISO 100. I can't see whatsoever any degradation in that image. So, and then we have actually, which we're going to do in another video, you'll see, let me just before I end the video, so it's something for you to watch. If we go back to 12,800 perfectly exposed, we'll just remember the other one looked a bit grainy. We'll just go to 25,600. And it looked pants a minute ago when we underexposed it. Three full stops. Look at it now. It's perfectly exposed. But anyway, that's coming up in another video. The IISO uh, performance. But there you go. There's the dynamic range of the D850. What do I think? Conclusions are, I'm going to do a comparison compared to the 5D Mark IV. But it is better, considerably. It's absolutely outstanding. Tips for you. If you're going to use that to its potential so if you're going to go outside which you would be at iso 100 anyway or 64 whatever you want to be at and you want to expose for the sky no problem you can bring the shadows up five full stops later on at no cost whatsoever if that was a canon you, you just don't, you just can't do it well you can but when you zoom in you see lots of noise in the shadows um but anyway thanks for watching please comment and subscribe and a big thumbs up would be nice